Now, once we have completed the question servers, now let's build our second microservice, which is your quiz service. So we are expecting that when a client sends a request, client will basically interact with the quiz service, not with the question service. And then the quiz service will interact with the question service. So basically, we have two microservices interacting so that they can share data. Okay, that's the entire idea here. So we have done with the question service. Of course, we'll make some changes there to make it more effective. But at this point, for us, question service ready, it is working. Let's focus on the quiz service. Now, what are we expecting in quiz service? Of course, we need three things. The first one is, see, we are not doing any admin or user login here. It's just that imagine when you expand this application, if you want to make it big, uh, you also need the admin service or the normal user. But at this point, let's say we have three things. Create, of course the admin will create it, but we are not checking that. So it's create, quiz. Next is what if participants want to create, uh, they play the quiz, right? Or they want to submit the answers. Now in this case, we have to create a method using which you can get the questions for a particular quiz. So let's say tomorrow I have a session. And after this session, I want to uh, start the quiz so that people can play. But then I have to create the quiz today, right? So I will use create quiz. And then tomorrow when I want to play the quiz, I will simply call a method called get with a quiz number because of course we can have multiple quiz. So I can specify the ID. So we have to say get slash the numbers. And then the third one is to get the score. So of course, as a participant, they want to know their score. So we just need this three, right? But to do that, we have to create a new project. This is a new microservice, so we have to create a new project. So what I will do here is I will go to our favorite website, which is start.spring.io. And this is where you can see we have, uh, again, we have done this before, so I will do that quickly. So we basically need a Maven project for Java. And this is the version we are working with, 3.11 or 3.1.1. And then we have to mention the group ID. So till this point, we are working with com.telisco, so let's stick to it. And then uh, the artifact ID, I will say this is a quiz service, okay? So before this, we have worked with the question service. Now we are working with quiz service. Okay, looks cool. Uh, I want a packaging as jar. The Java version I have is 17. And then now it's time to add the dependencies. Now basically we'll need the same dependencies which we have used earlier. So of course we need web, that's one. Then we need data JPA because we are interacting with the database. Next we need is Postgres because the database is Postgres. Of course you can use uh, the in-memory database as well, but at this point we are using Postgres. In fact, in the entire project we are using Postgres, so let's stick to it. And apart from this, to reduce your code, we need Lombok. So basically this is the thing we need, right? Apart from this, we need two more dependencies which we have done in the uh, question service as well. One is your open fin. And next is your Eureka client. So basically this, we need those, these two. At this point, again, I will, I will not explain what these two are. Once we, our question service is ready, or quiz service is ready, then using this will make much more sense. So I'm generating it, but then I will comment it before we even start coding. So it looks good. I will just download this. So let's click on generate. And you can see our quiz service is downloaded. So we have to unzip it first, that's the first step. Now once the unzipping is done, uh, let's open that in the IntelliJ. So I'll go back to my IntelliJ and you can see this is your uh, monolith application, this is your question service and we have talked about this before, right? Uh, whenever you get confused which window I am into, so just focus on this particular qu thing which is quiz app or question service. So I will open a project now. So I will say open and we need to go to downloads, quiz service, open. Now this is the new project which we got and it is indexing, it will take some time. Okay, I think the external Java files have been downloaded and indexing has been done. So if I open this, of course you will get this particular files which is by default. Uh, in the POM file, we, you can see we got all these dependencies. At this point, I don't need this too, so I will just comment them. So comment, save, and every time you make some changes in your POM file, you have to make sure that you are reloading your Maven dependencies and done. No problem here. So that's done with the POM XML. Uh, let's go back. And if you can see SRC main, we have this file, which is quiz service application, nothing fancy here, just a simple Spring application. And in the resource, we have application.properties, which is empty at this point, we'll fill this up. And then uh, nothing, nothing much. So we want to basically build a quiz service, right? Now, we, do, we don't want to build this from scratch. We have done that in the monolithic application. 
So I can simply go back to my monolithic application, which is quiz app. And what are the things we need from here? So we basically need this controller, but we don't, okay, so what I will do is I will just try to copy everything and then we'll make the changes. Anyway, we need these files, right? Uh, we don't need all, but we need some. So I will just go back here to my quiz service and paste inside this. So I will say paste and you can see it will download, it will get everything, not download, it will get everything here. And then we have to also make sure that we are updating your application.properties. So I will go back here. We do need all this data. So I will just copy this and paste it here and done. So these are the things we need, right? Uh, let me just close this one. Anything specific? Yeah. Uh, there's one change here. So basically we don't need to work with the question database now. So we have to do two different microservices, right? So question service will interact with the question DB and the quiz service will interact with the quiz DB. So here I want to work with the quiz DB. We have not created this till now. We'll do that. Okay, so let, let's do that first. So open your PG admin. Okay, so PG admin is asking for the password. Let me just do that and okay. So let's expand the servers and here we got Postgres. If you can see, we have question DB. Now this time what we need is the uh, qu quiz DB. So what I will do here is I will click here and say, hey, I want to create a new database. And this time the name is quiz DB. So let's use that and click on save. So you can see we got our quiz DB here. Okay, and whatever tables you want to create, of course we need a quiz table. So that will be generated automatically because that's the setting we have done. So at this point, you can see we don't have any table, but if you go back to IntelliJ, so if you can see we are saying update, so it will create tables for us if you don't have it, but based on what? So we have to make some changes in the code. First of all, uh, in the controller, since we have copied everything, we don't need question controller because that's a part of the question service. So we can delete this. Next, do we need DAO? Yes, we need quiz DAO because we need to interact with the quiz database. We don't need a question DAO. What about the service? In service also the same thing, we need don't need question service. Let, let's delete that. In the model, basically we need all. The reason being, see, uh, the quiz makes sense is because we are generating, generating a quiz and these are the things we have there. We'll make some changes here. I think there are some changes. Um, we need question, reason, is see in the question service we do have question right and that perfectly makes sense there but in the quiz as well when you are interacting with a question service and if question service gives you a question where you will store it in fact i think this is optional so let's keep it now and actually we don't need question what we need is question wrapper why quiz need to know about the answers right so that's th that is there in the question so we don't need this but let's keep it there for some time and then later on we delete it we do need responses is because when a client is submitting the quiz the client will send the data in the response format so you have to accept that as well and uh, nothing much these are the files we need and we'll make some changes okay so basically in the quiz controller what are things we have the same thing nothing changes here right we need to create the quiz for sure we need to get the questions for sure we need to uh, calculate right these other things are there so what are the changes here? Nothing much. Of course, we have to do a lot of changes in this service, uh, which is your quiz service, because this time things are going to change here because not everything is coming from database of the question service, right? Or the question DB. Basically, we have our own database. And a question or the quiz service basically cannot interact with the question database. We have to do that with the help of question service. So how will we interact with this tool? So let's try to understand that in step by step. So we'll do that in multiple sections. So here, uh, let's try to do that in the next video.